All right, so I decided I was gonna start video vlogging my build, um, but I'm just gonna introduce it here quick and see see how this works. But I'm building a 29 Roadster with an early Hemi. So this is it. Um, the body is actually right behind me. It's, a, it's actually 28, but I cut the floors out. It's all original. Um, you can see there's like patch panels in here, but they're actually cut off another Roadster. So I don't know when it was patched um, and why they would have patched with original Roadster that was solid. But um, I'm gonna channel it. So I cut the floor out and it's gonna sit down over this guy. Uh, this is just my mock-up Hemi in there. It's an early 331 um, extended bell. This is the one that's actually going in. So it's a 53 block with 54 Imperial heads. Um, max board out to um, 354 with, with uh, you know, um, adjustable push rods and solid lifters and a bumpy cam. So I need to put this thing together. Um, I'm going to run the 6.2s that, that's on this thing. Front end's basically all 32 Ford. Um, I'll get into some of the details of this later. I have uh, Lincoln Zephyr backing plates and, and Buick drums. And then um, 37 cross member in here, 37 Cadillac transmission with the Speed Gems adapter. Um, got an early Joe Hunt mag that came off of Gary Cagle's dragster. Actually, the carburetors came from um, uh, Don Garlitz. Um, I can't remember what car right now, but, but uh, I got those from my buddy in, in California. And uh, I chrome the bases and the uh, intakes in early drag star. Letters have been shaved off. Um, original SP tops with the logos. The buddy made that cool cast um, fin cover for the, for the motor. Um, as we get to the back here, I had 37 bones, um, or 36 Ford bones. So I cut, I cut the fronts off and welded them here and triangulated it and then there's a little z that goes back and then kind of underneath so they're like kind of star wars ish i feel like that looks like a tie fighter um in the back because i i got my hands on a lincoln zephyr i had all the brakes so i put the rear brakes um made them to this mach machine and made them to this rear end so it's a early 62 holes um kind of the predecessor to the four nine inch uh, I'm going to run th 354 gears and then um, get it 12 inch self energizing appendix brakes with uh, adapted the, the Buick drums in the back too. So the thing should stop. Um, I run a front spring in the back so it's a little narrower and I had to adjust, adjust um, the spring mounts down there a little bit. Um, but I made all the brackets, I just drew them up in CAD. Most of the stuff in this, like I didn't buy anything really, it's all old Ford stuff or old, you know, NOS parts. Um, so, you know, except for the rubber and, 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 and other little things like rebuild kits for the, the brakes and stuff. But um, other than that, everything that, that, that I have that's going into this thing is, is old, um, which is kind of cool. So slicks I had made by Hearst, they're not around anymore. I wish I had more than one set made, um, but I put a single groove down the center tire looks a little low on air but um single groove down the center and you know they're they're like six inches wide and 29 inches tall which is kind of like just right um it's hard it's hard to get that combo so look kind of neat um they're on they're the recaps are on firestone tires so but that's about it in a nutshell 32 front end um my buddy jeff um titus um he, he dropped it with him, his dad dropped it, and then I filled it. I was gonna drill it. I drilled my first one. My first Roadster went through a fire. So this is this is version number two. Um, but I drilled the first one. This one, I'm not gonna drill anything. I just like, I don't know. I think it looks good without anything drilled at all. I was looking back through the little books and a lot of my favorite hot rods, I noticed that none of them had drilled axles. Well, a few of them do, but not all of them. Um, and the majority of them didn't. So I think it'll look good, just nice and clean. Um, I just wanted all the rails clean. Um, shocks are kind of hidden in the back. I don't know, we'll see how this goes together. Um, I've been working out starter issues. So I got some starters out here, but thanks to my buddy DeSoto, six by two, California. Rick, Rick hooked me up with a, a starter that I think is gonna help make it all happen. Um, so yeah, it's kind of in it in a nutshell.
um, I'll post some more progress as I go. So I only get like one day a week to work on this. So, you know, there'll be few and far between, but you'll see this thing come together, I guess. That's it, later.